Tonight, we are still waiting to learn more about the conditions of five people sent to the hospital after a deadly three vehicle crash. It happened on Manchac Road near Slaughter Lane this afternoon. A man in his 20s died at the scene. Police say two men in a silver Mazda were headed south on Manchac when the driver veered into northbound traffic, hitting a red Kia. A family of three then ran into that collision. The cause of all of this is still under investigation, but this crash happened near Austin's most dangerous intersection. KXN's Callie McGivern checked in today to see where efforts to improve at that area stand, and she spoke with a woman who now fears for her safety every time she drives through the intersection of Manchac at Slaughter. It was haunting to know that someone lost their life right there today. A crash just south of Austin's most dangerous intersection. It's scary. Where Alex Hodges now has a personal definition of the danger. Well, the last few weeks have been um, chiropractic appointments, seeing a lawyer, um, being in pain, um, having to shop for a new car. Yeah, Snapshots jolt her back to the moment a typical routine. I have to go north on that, um, on Manchac to slaughter every morning to go to work. Forever changed. But it hit me with such force that he faced me to him. A year ago, yellow posts were placed along Manchac to prevent people from cutting across four lanes of traffic, forcing drivers to safely find a turnaround point. Thing is, the city says the bulk of the $1.6 million in improvements won't begin until this spring, growth in Austin outpacing the construction timeline. Manchac, south of Slaughter, all the way down to 1626, has been slated for improvement for some time. Councilmember Ann Kitchen says now, beyond intersection improvements, Campo recently approved a $9 million price tag to safen the surrounding area. So that will allow additional improvements to Manchac Road south of that Slaughter intersection, which as we can see is critically important. I mean, with that the, the tragic accident that we just had down there. It definitely makes me think twice going through that light every every day. And we want to show you where improvements stand on Austin's four other top dangerous intersections. Last week, construction began at 183 and Cameron Road in East Austin. The changes include better crosswalks, an island for pedestrians, and an advanced warning flasher. That lets drivers know that a red light is coming just over the hill. The project is expected to be done sometime next month. Last month, crews started repairs which are now complete, and that is at MLK and the southbound I-35 frontage road. Now, those changes include reconstructing the right turn lane, repainting crosswalks and adjusting signal light timing. Now over on North Lamar and Palmer Lane in January, crews are scheduled to improve turn lanes, forcing drivers to yield and to slow down. Work at the Runberg and North Lamar intersection is set to begin next month. Crews will be adding raised medians to prevent drivers from making unprotected turns.